Dear brothers and sisters, um, you might have uh, observed that um, uh, for the past uh, days, the uh, readings of the gospel are uh, about the end time or the end of the world. And um, the reason is because uh, the calendar of the Catholic Church is uh, already ending. As a matter of fact, uh, magtatapos po ang uh, ating uh, calendar ng simbahan itong darating na uh, linggo. Uh, this is uh, uh, the first Sunday of Advent. That is why we already uh, uh, talk about the uh, end of the world or the judgment uh, day to remind us about the end of uh, the world. Alam niyo may isang lector na baguhan pa lamang siyang Paguhan para mang siyang uh, mag, uh, babasa ng uh, reading at uh, maraming uh, tao ang nandun dito sa harapan niya. Kaya medyo uh, kinakabahan. Kaya uh, he was, she was struggling to read uh, the first reading at uh, Nung matapos na po siya, ay sabi niya, And dear bro- brother, brothers and sisters, sabi niya, This is the end of the world. Ay yung mga tao naman, sabi niya, Thanks be to God. No? Well, go dahil sa, dahil sa interviews <laughs> At medyo nahihirapan siyang magbasa. First time kasi niya ay... Sumagot din yung mga tao, Thanks be to God, natapos ka rin. <laughs> uh, well, dear brothers and sisters, in today's gospel, we read about how Jesus uh, was predicting the destruction of the city of Jerusalem. And this will be... Uh, Uh, done, he said, when the Gentiles will come to our uh, city and uh, destroy uh, our temples. And this happened in 70 years before the uh, before Christ. So, uh, uh, dear brothers and sisters, this is also a preview of the last uh, judgment. The preview when the end of the world will take place and our Lord will come back to us uh, for the second time. Dumating ang ating Panginoon nung siya ay pinanganak sa Bethlehem at siya po ay nangangaral at we know his life historically but then he resurrected when after his death and went to heaven but then he said that he will come again a second time at the end of the world ngayon maraming mga tao na nag predict po or speculating uh, when the end of the world will come um, but uh, we should not be bothered about when it will come because we do not know. And our Lord Jesus Christ said, neither the angels know when the wor- end of the world will come, nor even the Son of Man, meaning either uh, myself, I don't even know. It's only your Heavenly Father who knows when the end of the world will happen. So let us not waste time 
speculating when the end of the world will come, but rather, while we are still here in this world, we should always be prepared when that time comes and the time of our end in this world is when we die or when our Lord takes us. So, uh, wag na ho tayong uh, magtatanong kung kailan mangyari ang end of the world dahil ang end of the world natin for each and every one of us is when we pass away from this life. Pag tayo po ay kukunin na ni Lord. Kaya the question that we ask ourselves is, tayo ba ay nakahanda kung halimbawa, ikaw ay kukunin ni Lord uh, maybe uh, anytime, maybe tonight, tomorrow, or maybe a uh, long time. Nakahanda, uh, hindi nakahanda ng kabaong dyan o yung mga memorial plan pero yung yung buhay spiritual ikaw ba ay uh, living in sins and that you don't repent your sins while you are still while you are still alive alam niyo po um <clears throat> Minsan ay um, um, sumakay ako sa aeroplano. Pero bago ako sumakay, yung kasama ko, sabi niya, Father, pwede bang mangumpisal? Ay sabi ko, ay, uh, why? Well, Father, sabi niya, natatakot kasi ako sa sumakay ng aeroplano. At baka may mangyari sa akin. At... Uh, Uh, mayroon akong mga kasalanan, sabi niya. Sige, brother, okay lang, sabi ko sa kanya. And then mayroon naman yung isang uh, ina at um, sinabi ng mga anak, Mama, ikaw ay nagbibiyahe uh, papuntang Davao at uh, pabalik. Kasi yung mga kamag-anak, ibang pamilya, ay nandun sa Davao. Ay sabi niya, hindi, ayaw kong uh, natatakot ako sa sumakay ng eroplano. Ay sabi ng anak, Mama, eh, kahit nasaan ka, kung yun ay uh, uh, panahon mo na, if it's your time already to go, you cannot do anything whether you're taking a land transportation or the sea or the air, well, uh, it's your time to go. You cannot help it. Oo, kahit na sabi niya, I don't want to take the plane. But anyway, sabi niya, uh, kung ako'y mag aeroplano at halimbawa, it's the time for the pilot to to go ahead or to die, eh kahit na hindi ko oras, eh mapapasama ako kasi mag-crash yung aeroplano, sabi niya. Kaya, kaya uh, ayaw, ayaw pa rin niya dahil natatakot siya na yung piloto ay mag-crash at uh, nan- kasama siya doon. But again, my dear brothers and sisters, we should always be prepared really We are still that we are in the state of grace. Ang ikalawa pong wag nating kaliligtaan is is our life uh, a life of selfishness, a light, a light, a life of pride that we do not ex, uh, we do not uh, reach out to people, especially those who are less fortunate. Bakit ko sinasabi ito, mga kapatid? Why? Because in the last judgment, kung babasahin natin ang gospel, and this reading we had last Sunday on the feast of Christ the King over here, He will come as our judge, and the question that He will ask us, What have you done to the least of your brethren? Ano ang nagawa mo? And he said, when I was sick, 
you visited me. I was in prison. You came and consoled me. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me to drink. I was a stranger, and you welcomed me. These are good works. These are works of charity and mercy. And this shows the importance because it's telling us that in the last day, in judgment, He will ask us what we have done, what good works we have done to our fellow men. Mayroon ba tayo nagawang kabutihan? Or are we very selfish that we do not even reach out to our brothers and sisters in need? And there are many instances or uh, opportunities. Halimbawa, yung mga nasalanta ng uh, bagyong si U uh, Ulysses or maraming mga tao dyan na uh, nagihirap, mga pulubi. What, 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 what have we done? Our Lord will ask us. That is why, my dear brothers and sisters, I always remember this uh, wish of our Lord. And that is why I also, in my own way, reach out to the less fortunate uh, people that uh, come to me for help. And I also have this support a seminarian, seminarians who come from needy families. Kasi tinatanong ko rin ang aking sarili, ano bang kabutihan ang nagawa ko? Kahit na pare na ako nagbimisa, pero ang importante, sinabi ng ating Panginoon, ay kung ano ang nagawa natin sa ating kapwa. At ito'y ginawa mo na rin sa akin. So, sabi ng isang uh, uh, profeta, si Ecclesiastes, in whatever you do, remember, in whatever you do, remember your last end or last day, and you will not commit a sin. So, uh, this is important that we should always remember this. And may I conclude with the inspiring words of a writer who said, I shall pass this way but once. Any good, therefore, that I can do, or any kindness that I can show, let me do it now. Let me not neglect nor defer it or postpone it, for I shall not pass this way again. Amen. Let us now...